So when she saw me cutting my hair, trying to look like Buttercup, she lost her mind. She was all like, I. When I was a kid growing up in the 90s, there was one cartoon that I was obsessed with, and it was. The Powerpuff Girls. It was one of my first cartoons that I've ever watched, and I kid you not, as soon as I watched it, I got hooked. I was what people would call a huge fangirl over three fictional characters, and I would fight anyone should they speak anything wrong about them that I don't like and would try to correct them of everything about their characters and that they should love the way they are. Holy fuck, I have just pulled a Sonic 93 there. Let me stop. Anyway, I love the Powerpuff Girls so much that I would draw them every single day and not get tired or bored of it. I even made a drawing of the Powerpuff Girls as a present to my grade school teacher as a gift. I had clothes, towels, toys, accessories, and DVDs that I would play over and over and over again and not get tired or bored. Jesus. I was a hell of a fangirl back then, damn. I love the Powerpuff Girls, and I still do. It's just a great classic. And that theme song, da 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 <sighs> it never gets old. As much of a fangirl I was over the years, there was one incident that made me love them so much that I actually wanted to be a Powerpuff Girl. <laughs> Not like Princess, no. I, I, I didn't have money. Just. I actually tried to be one. Ephesus on tried. I was about four or five years old, and it was the time when I was just getting into Powerpuff Girls. If you haven't read the title already, one of my favorite characters was Buttercup. And why she was my favorite was because my favorite color was green. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, I know. Ha ha, whatever. But she was really tough and strong meaning she didn't mess around. So growing up as a shy and quiet little kid, that was something that I wanted to be. Now for some odd reason, I thought that her hairstyle was just badass looking to me. Like, it, just looking at it, it screams, don't fuck with me, you, you know? Well, of course I didn't think like that. But that's what it felt like when I was a kid. So I figured, hmm, if I have my hair like buttercups, I could be the tough person that I wanted to be. R reminder that I was four, four to five years old, pre-K. So one day, I grabbed a pair of scissors, watching Powerpuff Girls, of course, and then I started cutting my hair. I don't know how long it was, but it felt long because I had a lot of curly hair. I still do. I was concentrating so hard hard trying to look like a fictional character that i admire so much that i do anything to be like them literally however that ended quick because my mom came in in the bedroom now my mom loves and praises long hair it's a prominent feminine feature in the hispanic culture so when she saw me cutting my hair trying to look like buttercup she lost her mind. She was all like, I It was a mess. But yeah, she freaked out, took the scissors away from me, and I had to wait a few months to grow my hair back. It wasn't that bad looking at it. I, I just cut a little bit on both sides since I was trying to look exactly like Buttercup. So, yeah. Your girl tried to look like Buttercup. Good lord.
Anywho, hope you guys enjoy this silly story and let me know if you had any similar experiences like this one. Bye!